Research Processes Synthesis uh, has been presented uh, by, by Karen Fisher uh, out of the University of Auckland, theme leader enhancing EBM practices. Karen is a human geographer and associate <coughs> professor in the School of Environment at the University of Auckland. She researches how knowledge is produced and used to inform environmental governance and management in New Zealand. Her work is focused on transdisciplinary approaches to understanding marine social ecological systems. Ite tue ene, no mai rā no rāruana mai, ia taupiri maunga tēnā koe. Kia ora, nā mihi nui ki a koutou, ko Ngāti Mani Poto me Wākato Tairu, o ko iwi, ko Karen Fisher, toko ingoa. So I am here to talk about the research processes, research process strand, and I should have more names on here than I do. So I apologise to those who, whose names should be up there but aren't today. Um, I'm starting with this picture, which you are now very, very familiar with. But um, I'm starting with it just because we're not on it. Um, so the research process strand doesn't um, appear on this diagram, partly because it's, it's a, a different synthesis project activity. So whilst the blue economy, te ao Māori, and EBM synthesis strands are focused explicitly on bringing together research that is focused on EBM and blue economy for the purpose of developing a range of outputs that meet the needs of the various end users who might use them, the research process strand is different in that it is looking at the way in which the challenge has um, undertaken research over time and um, how it has changed, um, starting thinking about how we were pursuing research since 2015 through to the present day. So um, what we're interested in is um, teasing out the ways in which the challenge has provided the institutional setting for doing marine research differently. And um, so, Given the holistic nature of ecosystem-based management, it has required that we, we work differently, that we work across disciplinary um, silos and uh, engaging with end users so that our research will have impact or bring about positive changes to the moana. And certainly over, our, over time, our research and, or our approach to research has increasingly emphasised high levels of engagement with those operating um, in the marine space to accommodate diverse values, knowledge, interests and so on. So, um, and this poster is downstairs as well. The, the research process strand provides an opportunity to showcase what we have learned as a challenge about, the, about doing research differently. Sustainable Seas researchers are now in an excellent position to share their insights, their valuable insights into working in interdisciplinary and transdisciplinary teams as well as sharing experiences um, of engaging with diverse end users, practicing co-development, working alongside Mātauranga Māori experts and kaupapa Māori researchers, and identifying ways to have impact. So, in essence, the research process strand is focused on documenting the how, the why, and the who of our research. And there are other, um, other aspects of the research that could be added in, in there as well, other words. Um, so this involves examining approaches to research design, implementation, execution, and dissemination that su have supported our researchers to have impact in science in Mātauranga and to inform and shape marine management and governance in New Zealand and how these have changed over time. The activities in the strand will consider um, the shifts that have occurred and identified some of the outcomes associated with changes, as well as trying to unpack what has led to the changes in the way in which we've undertaken research. Um, the strand considers the challenges, uh, the Sustainable Seas Challenges efforts to address the science mātauranga and the policy gap, to build cap capacities and capabilities of researchers, and to work with and for Māori partners and end users and others in implementing ecosystem-based management and blue economy approaches unique to Aotearoa. Uh, this, the, the research activities will identify lessons from research undertaken in phase one and in phase two in terms of de designing and conducting inter- and transdisciplinary collaborative research and in delivering research outcomes. As with the other strands, we are aiming to produce a range of targeted outputs for specific audiences that include guidances for um, those who are embarking on transdisciplinary research, and um, we're hoping to also have impact in terms of sharing our experiences with an international audience of transdisciplinary researchers, and particularly those who might be embarking on research with Indigenous peoples in other parts of the world. 
So the Strand has divided into two activities, Academia to Impact, which is led by Christiane Allen, who's floating around here somewhere, somewhere observing um, what it is that we do, and um, a Mātauranga in Science activity, which is led by Darcy Karaka. He's also here. Um, so the Academia to Impact activity, and both of these are in very early stages, so they're just basically getting underway now. The aim of this activity is to examine the evolving practices of research engagement and impact generation by analysing the evolution of, of sustainable seas. It's, so it's, it's looking at how our approach to research has evolved so that the research being undertaken now looks considerably different to the research that we started to do in 2015 and 2016. And this is, this, so this research activity is really focused on documenting this change and again, the, the different processes that might have led to this change. The way that this activity will be approached is it involves desktop analysis as, and, and so an analysis of the different kinds of outputs that we've produced as well as the proposals as they, you know, how they have changed, other sorts of documents that have been produced in the life of the challenge, as well as primary data collection so interviewing um, people that have been involved in the challenge to document research processes, uncover shifts in expectations and scope of research, and outline its contributions to knowledge and impact. There are four um, essential and interacting elements associated with research in this, um, in, in this research activity, and that's focusing on the way in which the research questions have been framed and the changes over time, the methodological approaches that have been taken, um, the kinds of research outputs that have been produced and the ways in which different knowledge coming out of the um, challenge has been mobilised, and then looking to see the different kinds of um, enablers and constraints. So, and the ultimate goal is, well, one of the outcomes of the research will be doing a, um, trying to work with others in this sort of um, science system and the, the science policy space to get a sense of how the research undertaken by the challenge differs or might um, uh, be the same as research conducted by other challenges in particular and what the opportunities are for this kind of research moving forward, so beyond the life of the challenge. The Mātauranga in Science activity is really focused on um, exploring the intersection between Mātauranga and science and to consider what, how and why the various research projects that are working in this space, why have they taken the approach that they have taken and what have been the challenges, what have been the opportunities associated with it. And um, I think as we've seen over the last few days, and including today, there's a, a research, uh, there's a, quite a bit of research that's been undertaken in the challenge that has really sought to bring mātauranga and science in conversation or to work alongside each other. So. Um, there will be a, a key focus of this is trying to understand, you know, again, what are the enablers, what makes this different, or is it different to how research is done elsewhere. We anticipate that the research in this activity will have a number of outputs and outcomes, such as enhancing and uplifting um, localised knowledge from iwi, hapu and whānau, endorsing effective and reciprocal partnership models for EBM, um, particularly in respect to decision making, developing decision-making processes that recognise risk and uncertainty, and identifying governance and policy practices that support EBM, amongst other things. Um, yeah, kia ora. <laughs>